Okay, let's take a look at sprouts. Amazing thing, sprouts. I mean, you know, one of the big considerations with them is they take up so little space and provide such an abundance of nutrients. And they are actually incredibly easy to do yourself. Granted, some, some things, seeds, grains, sprout more readily than others, but it is an easily achievable thing to do. So let's take a look at some of their virtues. Firstly, what are sprouts? They're seeds that have germinated and put out shoots. So they're in that very early stage of growth. And you can sprout seeds, grains and legumes, quite a range of them. Why they're so beneficial is because at this stage of growth, they've got a really high concentration of nutrients. So vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, enzymes. And you know, if you look at that little table there, there's an abundance of things that you can consider sprouting. Okay, before we look at the energetics and composition of the sprouts, I just want to draw your attention to the little text box up the, the top of the slide. Um, and there's a link there to, you can follow to the website of the Sprout Man. In fact, you'll probably have to copy and paste that link into your browser. The Sprout Man, um, which you would imagine by the name, is a chap who is very involved in all things sprouting. So there's some really interesting um, and helpful information on the website. And the Sprout Man, you know, started up his sprouting business back in the 70s and, and has continued. He very sadly died in a car accident a few years ago, but his sons have carried on his sprouting legacy. And there really is some very interesting information on there. So if you want to get into sprouting, it's a good go-to place. So looking at the energetics, not surprisingly the cooling. You know, we've got, we've got a kind of watery, quite high concentration water food and, and along with things like the wheatgrass, etc., has the cooling energetics. Now different sprouts have varied nutritional profiles, but in general sprouts tend to be high in protein. Um, really quite, you know, given the, the smallness of the sprout, really quite significant amounts of protein. Um, magnesium, phosphorus, manganese, various vitamins, including vitamin C, vitamin K, chlorophyll, there's that green component there, antioxidants and fiber. So remember that sprouting increases protein concentration. So in particular, the essential amino acids. And this is where you can consider, you can look at a sprout and think, oh, it looks quite insignificant, but you can sprout grains like wheat, for example, use a, a good organic wheat grain um, and sprout it and make a seam bread out of it, which is a lovely kind of moist bread-like texture. Um, really delicious, doesn't even need anything on it. You can eat it as it is or you can toast it and yet it's, it's simply made from sprouted grain. It's amazing stuff. So there's all sorts of recipes available. Um, sprouting also sort of bypasses some of the naturally occurring, don't really like the term, but we, we call them anti-nutrients such as phytates and, and tannins. So when you're sprouting, you know, grains and legumes and nuts typically contain, you know, reasonable levels of phytates at least, not so much tannins. Now, why I said I don't like calling them anti-nutrients is because it makes them sound like they're really bad and they're not. Phytates actually have some beneficial properties in their own right. They're, they're antioxidants, likewise tannins. Antioxidant, they can help improve if there's leaky gut problems, help with, because they help to bind proteins, help with that mucous membrane linking. So, you know, they can have some real health benefits. The, why they're referred to as anti-nutrients is that because they really like binding to things, they tend to bind to minerals like calcium and iron in food. So they can decrease the absorption of those minerals. Now the point to that is that you, you don't not ever eat foods that contain phytates and tannins. 
It's just that you think, well, I'll have a mix of foods and I won't necessarily include them at every meal. Um, also, in, in some of your other lectures, you'll find out about specific ways to prepare grains and et cetera to reduce that phytate content. In the meantime, sprouts are naturally reduced. And so what that means is that the other nutrients in the sprout can be more readily utilised. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe below so you don't miss any future content. To learn more about CNM or its courses, head to www.naturopathy-uk.com.